Hey, just let the guys coming out. Hey, Michael. Yeah. yeah. YouTuber. Yeah. Oh, that's Lee. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Captain yeah. Hitty. Yeah. I think we're going out to Wyo today. The adventure that I wanted, you guys. Well, this is my first official dive in the ocean and it's actually more of an advanced dive if you really think about it because when you start exploring shipwrecks, that's when you actually go below 60 feet with an advanced certification. Now, in this video, you can see I'm at the top of the water having an issue due to the waves because I'm not used to them. So Ken is here actually trying to make me understand that if you go below the waves, below the surface of the water, it'll actually get a little bit more calmer. So here I'm actually trying to catch on to my breath and get below the surface where you can actually see those flippers from the other scuba divers they're a little bit more calm because they're holding on to the the guide rope going down to the the ship the sunken ship so ken is actually about to relieve me in a second because he feels that i have a grip <laughs> on the rope so here we go i'm grabbing the rope and i'm gonna make my way down after that, he realized that I'm good to go because I looked up and realized that I wasn't near all that that wave, that motion, and you can see everybody here is now just relaxed. And there I am. <laughs> totally let go of the rope. Don't do that, you guys. <laughs> all right, that is another um, Lee. experienced diver that name. came along me, with us. I was actually gonna be the only diver with Ken on this trip along with the boat captain and his crew. So we're about 60 feet and we are making our way down to the sunken ship and I'm just checking my, my gauge. Throughout the video, Ken will guide me and record me so you'll see some clips of me and I actually do turn my GoPro around my GoPro on my Octo mask is actually not turned on I didn't realize like I said it is my first dive uh, official dive as an open water diver and as a lot of people people are probably gonna say you know you shouldn't have done it because you're not advanced da, 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 but if you guys do follow me on my other YouTube channel, you can tell I'm very mechanically inclined and I pick up things by doing, not by reading and whatnot. So, yes, I will be taking the advanced class sooner or later, but I was in Hawaii and I wanted to go scuba dive. And I'm saying I accomplished it and it's not as hard as people think. Um, it's all about staying calm, in my opinion, and going with other experienced divers that can help you along the way if you have any questions or concerns obviously you can leave them in the comments below ask another diver that might be watching this or you know if i can respond with my little of knowledge then i will but like i said go out with there with experienced divers the only way to honestly um work on your technique of diving um float in um Levitating, I should say, because <laughs> nothing's as close as a astronaut other than a scuba diver. So, um, yeah, working on your technique to uh, breathing, like here, I'm trying to work on my breathing while diving and you know recording at the same time. But you can hear my regulators having a little bit of an issue. So, I recently just purchased a scuba regulator BCD uh, first and second stage so I should be coming out with some new video content soon well due to traffic and me leaving at 4 45 on a Friday eight hours and 39 minutes 543 miles so if you guys are not subscribed definitely think about subscribing
And we are on top of the first shipwreck. A bunch of yellow fish. Now at this depth, I totally forgot that I needed to use my red lens on my GoPro Hero 8. So as we get deeper, the color red is no longer in the picture. So it will look a little off, but it's totally okay. School of fish right there. Pretty dope. Love the neon yellow color. And yes, down there at that deep through my goggles, I could see the neon yellow. I was a little fogged up due to not cleaning my mask, which is one of the easiest but hardest techniques to do as a new diver. So um, I know it's a little nerve wracking to try to do on your first or second dive, but it's definitely something that you want to go ahead and work on in a pool if you have access to a pool. This is the other certified master diver. I, th I believe he is a master diver and I believe his last name is Mike or his middle name is Mike. Um, totally forgot, but if you're watching this dude, comment. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to meet up in the future sometime again and go diving again. It's totally cool to pull over with you and Ken. I was looking down the, I'm assuming exhaust or some sort of tunnel that was left open or swung open when it went down. This is some of Ken's footage. You can hear his breathing is a little bit more uh, controlled compared to mine. Ken's over there recording, my, recording me, but uh, I don't have any of that video footage. Making my way down to where he was. Pretty much, I'm assuming these would be windows or cutouts where the passengers or sailors would actually look out. But hey, I'm only observing it like you guys are. But this is totally cool to actually look and watch. It's just crazy. I guess it used to sit there on the top of the ocean and float at one time, and now it's sitting at the bottom of the ocean out in the harbor of Oahu. My first dive in Oahu. My first time ever in Hawaii. I don't know. I, I don't think that's a clownfish, but somebody comment in the comments below. So right here, Ken is telling me that we're going to make our way away from this shipwreck to another shipwreck that's not too far away i believe about 50 feet maybe 60 feet away and then we got two back here clowning around <laughs> uh, and you guys can see right on the left of my regulator it's actually leaking and that is one of the reasons that i am breathing so hard on recording and uh Another reason why I went out and bought my own BCD first and second stage and regulator and fins, wetsuit, gloves, hoodie, you call it, everything guys, I had to get everything. So the only thing I really don't have is a tank. So like I said, comment, subscribe. And stay notified because I will be uploading all of my travel content here on this channel, you guys. Skittle Fabs Travels. My other channel, Skittle Fabs, is my original car mechanic, track, racetrack, you name it. All on that channel. YouTube.com slash at Skittle Fabs SRT4. We're just making it over to the other sunken ship which looks a lot more deteriorated than the other ship this would be i believe the stern i i remember learning it back in the day that the bow was in the front of the back or the stern was in the front of the back you know you guys can comment let me know <laughs> I'm still learning, I'm new to the aquatic life, but I grew up north of Boston on the on the beach shoreline, so 
I'm very familiar with the ocean water and being around the beaches and whatnot, but this is this is new aquatic life to me right here and I wanna bring it to you guys so subscribe and stay notified. This is I think on the upper deck that over years must have uh, broke down and now you got sea turtles living down here. Look at that yellow fish. See, he has no other colors other than the yellow, so the yellow really pops down there. But you can see the sea turtles, they got a bunch of different colors. Down there, you can see them, but on, on camera, clearly, you're not seeing them. Now look at that, you guys can see through the bottom of that ship. This is one of my um, Amazon flashlights that I bought and it worked really well. My GoPro stick, selfie stick, GoPro Hero 8 cover, camera cover, underwater cover, clear cover, whatever you want to call it. Everything will be linked in the description, you guys, if you guys are interested. And you guys, I was not trying to, like, intimidate or scare this turtle at all. It was already on the move when we moved in there, so I believe that he saw us coming, and he tried to make his way out, and I'm assuming this is how he got in, the same way that we're exiting. I'm pretty much just following Ken. Ken is actually another YouTuber. Um, he's... Actually, more um, posting more often than I am. Actually, he does scuba diving every single day and goes on to trips. And here, he's looking for the other scuba diver. That's why he just made that look. But you guys can find him on Scuba Hawaii. I believe it is. If not, I'll go ahead and uh, leave everything in the description for you guys. I'm having a brain fire. It's been uh, seven months since I went diving. So I'm actually going to be going diving on Monday, which will be a couple months after you guys see this, or prior to the, you guys seeing this. So <laughs> I really do apologize for not staying up to date. But you guys see like that. All that red's coming out because of the fact I'm using the, the flashlight. It's so cool to actually see this sunken ship. Normally, you wouldn't be able to see this sunken ship unless you were like swimming at the top of the ocean uh, surface and you were swimming around the boat. But you'd never be able to get this up close and personal to the top, the sides, the bottom, interior, etc unless you are scuba diving. And this is one of the reasons why I want to scuba dive is, you know, I want to see what's underneath the ocean, see what we're missing. And I know a lot of people that don't like going down there because of sharks, but, you know, every day you risk your life driving in an automobile, flying in a plane, or just walking down the street. So, you know, live your life to the fullest. That's one of the things about this channel is I want you guys to not be scared or intimidated or nervous about traveling. Just get out there and do it. Like, do what you see and don't procrastinate. Like, if you're like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. Just get out there and do it. You don't need people to follow you. I'm here in Hawaii all by myself. And I went there by myself and I'm doing everything by myself. So just send it, you guys. Enjoy life, enjoy its blessings and get out there and go diving. Go skydiving, go snorkeling, go skiing. Something you've never tried before. Just get out there and go. So we're about halfway ish a little bit over halfway through the video you guys i appreciate you guys watching still you guys are still tuned in definitely like this video 
and comment. Let me know if you guys have ever scuba dived. You ever gone to Oahu, Hawaii, uh, Hawaii, the Big Islands? Anyway, guys, just let me know. So he's just checking to see uh, what's up because we gotta actually make our way back up to line the rope that's attached to the first sunken ship and pretty much he navigates the way back to the line like we're all following him we pretty much know that he is the master scuba diver here he's the guy guiding us and we're following him so these guys were actually uh I'm assuming from out of the country, and they were here to dive. I'm not sure if they were from Japan or China or where, but they were really cool, really down to earth, nice and respectful, and it was cool to dive with them. So it's cool when you have really down to earth, chill people to dive with that just want to have fun and you know not leave a mess on the seabed. So, a little small school fish. Now, one thing you want to make sure you don't do is you don't want to touch all the barnacles, the coral, the metal, anything. Because the fact that if you cut yourself and you bleed, I'm telling you, that's when you're going to have to worry about sharks. So, I am about to just grab up on that and make my way up. Now, the ascent back up. We have to pretty much take a 15 minute ish break before we actually surface. So that's where the next 10 ish minutes come. We're pretty much just hanging on this rope and slowly making our way up, watching our gauges, watching our air pressure, and you know, just watching everybody else's limbs from. You know, not, not knocking somebody in the face or whatnot. Cause we're all holding on to this rope and we're all above one another and below one another. So yeah, man. This is definitely one of uh, my funnest trips so far since I left Massachusetts in 2021. It's been roughly two years and I got scuba dive certified by a scuba monkey. And yeah, it was just, it was a blast. And now here I am, scuba diving in Hawaii, Oahu. Sunken ships, it makes me wanna get my advanced certification, which I will be doing next after my dive down in La Hala Jala or something like that. <laughs> Down in Southern California, it is just northwest of San Diego, California. And Ken is just saying goodbye to everybody as we descend to the top. I might be saying that wrong. Ascend, descend. I know we're going back up. <laughs> oh, so you guys, like I said... It's a new, new fad of mine. It's gonna be definitely exposed here on the channel a lot. A lot of my scuba diving, hiking, waterfalls, drone videos, etc. So he just mentioned five minutes right there. And we should be good to go to go back up. But yeah, like I said, uh, it's new to me and I'm definitely um, putting money into this because it is well worth it. If you could see right in the middle of the screen right there, right after the coupling, the connection, I am leaking air. So that was one of my biggest reasons for me wanting to buy my own gear. And yeah, if I'm going to be taking time out of my life to pretty much learn how to do something, I might as well invest and put money into my own equipment that fits me right does me right and does exactly what I needed to do and keep me safe because 
it wasn't for that regulator and that BCD, and that <laughs> I probably wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Breathing underneath the water, just like a fish. So dope. You guys can see I don't have gloves on. We're in Hawaii, where it's warmer, so it's okay. But when you do get into colder water, yeah, you're gonna need weights, and you are also gonna need a thicker mill suit. So in this video, in this aqua lung that I'm wearing, I am wearing a three mil. So it's okay to be pretty much in any water above 70 degrees uh, because you know you're only roughly diving for 45 to an hour depending on how you are with air um, so yeah this is just such a cool adventure can i really appreciate you if you're watching this if guys for everybody that stayed tuned in till the end and still watching right now appreciate you uh, this is exciting excited <laughs> i gotta say it's stupid excited if you're like an astronaut just sitting there levitating in the water not going down not going up now if i let go obviously the current will take me but since i'm holding on to that rope I'm pretty much just chilling pretty much looking down to see what everybody else is doing just a curious person now if anybody's interested what computer I'm rocking right there on my wrist that's an aqua lung it's a basic computer it basically tells you depth uh, it can hook up to some things blue via Bluetooth but uh, it's just a depth computer to me you guys nothing else other than that and recording my dives so I will be eventually upgrading to a dive computer off of my second stage and I will be investing some good money in that most likely I will be going with a scuba pro since I went with a scuba pro BCD and regulator so yeah you guys enjoy the rest of the video uh, like, comment, subscribe, and definitely stay tuned in. If you're not subscribed to my other channel, check it out, Skittle Fabs. Same way it's written here, Skittle Fabs Travels, without the travels. Alright guys, keep enjoying the content, stay motivated, and get out there, travel, and do something fun with your life. Enjoy it. You know, you have only one life to live. And look, I'm enjoying it. Alright guys, next videos, I will make sure I keep that red lens on so whenever I go diving deep past, you know, 30 feet or whatever, we get that red and we get that full color effect. That way I don't have to use any type of, uh, you know, cover, I guess we could say, uh, special effects or anything to degrade the picture.